At the beginning of this series, we took on the huge challenge to build a complete pro drift car from a bare chassis in under six weeks. We've made some awesome progress, but now it's crunch time. We have a total of 96 hours to finish the build before round one of the Keep It Reap Battle Royale series, and honestly, it's gonna be a super tight run to the finish. We have a huge amount of work to do, so without further ado, let's get into it. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. We're back slogging away on the E36. It is Monday right now and we're drifting on Friday. This is how the car looks at the moment. We are so far from being finished. The nerves are starting to kick in because potentially <laughs> we won't get the car finished. I bit off a lot with this project because not only are we building a full car like I said in that intro, but we are also developing a bunch of parts for the E36 in the process. But today is a fun day, it's an exciting one because you guys are going to see everything come together in real time. So as you can see, it's kind of wrapped from what Andrew Evo did and now we've got my boy Chris here, all class signs, what's going on? And we're doing the wrap and the livery. So my boy Yin, he designed the livery from Aussie Drift Co. He does all the liveries for all the virtual cars uh, on Assetto Corsa, which is awesome for Aussie Drift Co. He designed this livery as well. He's such a legend. Uh, you guys are about to see it all come together. It's here. You can kind of get a preview under all this white. We're going to slap it on. And we're pretty much going to get straight into it. No time like the present. So uh, we'll start applying the livery. We're going to just test it out on the bonnet first to make sure that we're kind of happy with the way it all looks and everything. I'm still unsure about this purple little section here, but we can always chuck pink in there if we want. Uh, we obviously still have to wrap the back purple. Uh, we've got a couple of treats that you guys can see back here. This roof wing that we're developing. Uh, still a little bit more testing to do on that before the product is ready to go on the site. But right now, Chris is going to go ahead and start slapping this livery on. So let's hit that B-roll. Three, two, one, let's go. Woo. Skip forward, it is now Tuesday. I have to apologize to you guys. Uh, I literally had to put down the camera and just work because it was getting kind of clear to us that it wasn't potentially realistic to finish this car before Friday. So I literally just had to not do anything, not text anyone, not film and just get some freaking work done. Chris is currently not here at the moment. Uh, we got a bit of wrapping done. As you saw, you started to get a bit of a preview of what delivery is going to look like, which is sick. Look at those colors, guys. Absolutely bonkers. I'm definitely getting rid of the purple thing in the middle here. We'll go pink. It's just going to make it look a bit cleaner and nicer. Uh, but basically, I've absolutely hammered down on this thing and got a lot of important stuff done. So you won't be able to really tell too much. And there are some sneaky parts on this car that I can't fully show you guys because obviously they're in the development phase for us. But all of the lock kit is now in the car. I've centered the rack, which I'm just so stoked about because it's our own lock kit. I put some brand new wheel spaces on the front because of our old ones. We're just looking a little bit worn and they've been on the car for like three years. So it was time to upgrade that for sure. Um, we did a couple of modifications to our Mishimoto uh, expansion tank. I put an AU Falcon, another AU Falcon line on that uh, because of problems that we had last season, just tidying some stuff up. Obviously, as you know, the car runs but I've just been fully making sure that there were no leaks or anything in that. We've got the brakes all bleared, which is amazing because I made up all the brake lines and we didn't have any leaks, which is fantastic. Very, very stoked about that. Moving on to the interior. As you can see, I've got my steering wheel on now. I made a little switch panel right here for our windows and for obviously on and off of the car. I'm gonna add some more stuff to that in the future, but I have to do the bare minimum for now to get the car actually ready for the event. So not going too, too over the top, but at the same time, I cannot fathom the thought of having this thing looking like half untidy. So I just wanted to get it to a point where I was pretty happy with it, which is rad. Everything's locked off in the rear here now, which is sick. We have our big axles in the rear here. Look at this. So this kit's gonna be available to buy soon, but obviously first we have to test it. But uh, these are huge. These are 108 millimeter CVs and axles. I will show you guys a comparison uh, in the next video, probably after we've done the event of the different, the size difference between the two, but it's um, pretty phenomenal. But now we're about to hit a monumental moment in the build, and that is putting the wheels on, getting the car on the ground and kind of driving it out of the place where the hoist is, which will make it a little bit easier to wrap stuff. So exciting, honestly. A um, bit nervous. <sighs> it's just the first time it's going to be moving under its own power with everything going into the new chassis. So um, I'm going to sit you guys down. I'm going to chuck the wheels on the car and we're going to drive it out. All the wide body's wrapped, but it's not on at the car at the moment. So she's looking a little, you know, ugly, but look at that. 
This is a mic's car, it's too nice. But yeah, let's get this thing on the ground and off the hoist. So first we drive, just pulling it out of the garage. Great success, everything feels pretty good. The seat wasn't secured down, so I was like jumping back and forth a lot. Uh, but that was fine, it was hard to control the clutch with no like seat properly bolted down. But uh, super happy with just that. Uh, there seems to be no crazy leaks, power steering works as it should. Brakes kind of work, but they need a bit more of a bleed, which is fine, clutch obviously works. So really, yeah, just pretty pumped on uh, how everything's going it's definitely a massive step forward and a, a massive weight off my shoulders just having this thing actually pulled out and uh driving so now it's just about buttoning a lot of things up also how sick do those rear boot lights look with like the boot cut out that is pretty freaking sweet um yeah as you can see as well gone ahead we've bogged up the doors so the super coupe is uh taking shape massively same on this side i've actually fully bogged this side up and sanded it back so it's ready to wrap which is awesome the roof ring really adds a nice touch to the car which is cool and then of course we have our like james dean inspired spoiler that goes like sticks up here as well so all together it should look pretty awesome but of course you guys are going to see the complete finished look in this video if everything goes to plan which is amazing engine bay is looking just stupidly good a lot of this we've taken so much time and patience with which is something i'm really not used to but i'm really glad we have now because even just seeing it in this state sitting on the ground i'm pumped on it i uh test fit the side skirts before as well and that completely changes the look once again of the car so I think this is just going to be one crazy looking Super Coupe E36 once it's all said and done. Right now, I'm going to uh, clean the shop because it's super dirty. Have a nap at home for about six hours and then come straight back here in the morning. Chris is meeting me here tomorrow and we're going to smash out this wrap, button up all the little things. And this car, by the end of this video, is going to be finished. So don't skip forward. Enjoy the journey. I'll see you guys in the morning and we're going to finish this freaking car. Bye. Oh, missed the camera. <laughs> just heard we have 33 hours and 25 minutes before the 24th of February when we'll be drifting at Calder Park Raceway. Minus 16 of those hours where we're sleeping and we only have about 16 hours left to complete the car and it looks like this so we're still a while out but at the same time I'm feeling quietly confident because we've got so many of the little things uh, done on the car to where it does drive now, it brakes, it, you know, the clutch works, everything feels good so we are buttoning up the little stuff. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I have high expectations as always for Friday, but as Cam Martin, my friend, told me, it'll be a miracle just to get through the event without any issues with a brand new car, let alone, you know, have a good result. So that's what we're focusing on, just having a car that works, that's reliable, and then obviously the result has kind of, kind of come secondary. But uh, we're gonna keep working. You're gonna, you guys are gonna go back onto the tripod and we're gonna smash this thing out. Hopefully next time I talk to you guys, we'll have one side of the car done. You, let's go.
number 69. The car is not officially fully wrapped, but pretty much fully wrapped. And look at this thing, man. Looking absolutely spectacular. I've actually packed up for the night. We've got one more day tomorrow. Last final push. Far out. Pretty unique looking E36. I'll show you around the other side. Look at that. Can't believe I own that car. It's so freaking nice. Wrap the roof wing as well. Looks pretty sick, so yeah, the colors are popping. Go to the front. But when it has that whole livery on it, it's gonna look so freaking sick. Woo! So uh, tomorrow, final push. We're gonna come back really early and hopefully we can get this thing all done. I want it done with the livery. I want the branding on it. You know, you, some of you may say I'm probably pushing a little too hard and we could just take the car as is to the event because it does look freaking spectacular, but we don't do things by halves here anymore. So we want the whole lot done. Uh, still got to pick up tires tomorrow as well, fit the tires to our rims, pack everything up, load the car up on the trailer. But this is the fun of the drift events, man. Like. This is the stuff that really make the drift events fun. When you look back on the memories after the event, sure, the event's always awesome, but it's all about the push and the good times that you have with the people that helped you out on the way to the event, you know, to get it ready. So I'm just trying to enjoy the journey as much as I freaking can. Uh, and you know, when it comes out looking like that, how can you not enjoy it? So one more push tomorrow. I'll see you guys in the morning and uh, we're gonna absolutely kill this. We're gonna install the mirrors as well, so I'm freaking pumped. Whew, bedtime, see you then, bye. All right guys, this is it. Final day, crunch time. We've got about eight hours left, I believe, to get this thing finalized and ready for competition. Look how far we've come. Look how freaking good this thing looks. First thing this morning I got in, I just wrapped this last of this front of the car, so the whole front's wrapped now. So effectively the whole car's wrapped other than the bumpers and the side skirts, which is really, really nice. I'll give you guys a quick view of the behind in daylight now that we've uh, got it out in the sunshine. And she looks, yeah, it's, it's coming together fairly nicely. Very happy with all the decisions we've made up to this point. Before we throw the livery on, I uh, went to the post office and I picked up our GK Tech S13 mirrors. And I'm really keen to show you guys these and how they fit. So these are our S13 mirrors. Now they're kind of a Ganador style mirror. They look pretty rad. These are $149, g'day guys, on GK Tech. Uh, not sponsored or anything, but I just thought that they're a pretty rad mirror. And I hoped that they would fit. And this is what it looks like. It literally looks like it's built for the E36. Probably got to notch like a little bit off the plastic down here. Uh, the only thing is these three holes don't quite line up, or don't line up at all if I'm honest. Not far off though. Um, so on the back here, we pretty much just have to make this top hole, I'll notch it out, make it bigger, and then we'll have to drill a new hole for the bottom hole. So like, you could literally run these on your street car because you drill a hole, new hole, you put, you know, you bolt them on, and then you put the triangle plastic cover over here, you'd never even know. It's pretty sick, so for $149, and you've got your like Ganador M3 style mirrors. Unfortunately, I don't have the skills all the time to wrap these, so they're going to go on the car black, but I'd rather them on the car black than not at all. So I'm gonna sit you guys on the tripod and let's go through and actually install one of these on the car and see how it looks. simple it's not like super pretty on the inside I did it pretty quickly because we've got to keep moving but you got a new hole here it's got a big washer as well just notch this hole out and then this hole obviously already existed so I literally just used the screw that came with it and put a bigger washer there and it's solid as and obviously like I said you put the plastic over it you'd never know and you've got yourself some quite cheap but sick looking mirrors because E36s are quite hard to find aftermarket mirrors for so I think that looks freaking sick, especially once they're once wrapped pink. Boom, links in the description for those mirrors. Now we're gonna do something really fun. We're gonna put the livery on. Livery time, I'm so freaking keen. Let's go.
1.23 a.m. in the morning. I had to put the camera down and just go ham once again on the car. Um, it's pretty much done. I just finished the whole livery on the whole car. Um, I had to do a bunch of little things like put the digital dash in and uh, I can't even talk properly, I'm so tired. And you know, make sure that all the sensors and all the stuff for the water and oil pressure and stuff are all good tomorrow. And we're done. Well, I'm pretty much done. I've got to come back and do a couple of things in the morning when we load up. Luckily it's a later start for the track day tomorrow, so I'll get a bit of sleep, come back uh, with a refreshed brain and, and go hard at it. But you know, as I've been doing all this, you go through phases in your brain where it's like, is this, is what we're doing, is what I'm doing like really worth it? All this freaking effort and uh, I'm, I'm so sore, I'm, uh, my knees are killed, like I'm just so tired and everything like that. And sometimes you question your sanity, but like, of course, absolutely it's worth it. The car looks absolutely insane. You guys are about to see it now. I'm gutted that I didn't have this video up before the event tomorrow. This video will go up on Sunday, I think. Um, I really wanted to have it up before then, but obviously timeline's just not realistic. So the montage you're about to see will be at the track tomorrow morning. The car looks amazing. Feels like it's gonna drive good, I think. The alignment went well. Um, yeah, but we have no idea, you know, if it all works because I haven't been able to test it, of course, until we get there to the track tomorrow morning. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be obviously another video following this video. But without further ado, here is our 2023 E36 for the first time. Boom! There you have it guys, the 2023 E36 is finally done. I'm literally on my way to the track at the moment. So that montage you saw, I will be filming after this, so it's a bit weird. But that's just how things have to be. The next video you guys see, the car will be on the track, which is really exciting. I'm absolutely exhausted. I actually stayed up till 2, yeah, 2 a.m. last night, and then again this morning, um, I spent about three hours uh, wrapping the front bumper and stuff like that on the car and getting it all nice and ready for today. So hopefully the hard work pays off. Uh, but nonetheless, I'm just really proud of uh, the work that we've put in to get to where we are. Massive shout out to Andrew Evo from Wrapped Up, Chris from uh, All Class Signs, and uh, Woz from WozFab. Everyone really for just putting in, a, putting in the work and giving me a hand. Um, Yin for the design on the livery, absolute legend. Yeah, just everyone, uh, really stoked, very proud of myself. My whole life at the moment is in disarray because I've just been putting every waking moment into getting this car ready. So the dedication that yeah, the this, this sport takes is pretty mental, um, but hey, this is, this is the fun. And tomorrow morning I'll get to sleep in, I'll wake up and I'll, I'll ho hopefully have a smile on my face, you know, because of the good times that we've had today after all the uh, solid effort we've put in. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, as always, I appreciate your support. Also, I did get some interesting news about one of my cars this morning uh, that I'll be making a whole video on, so look forward to that. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video. You, Let's freaking go racing. Peace. Bye.